What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Keon. I'm coming through with another review. Today I got a 2023 ES350 L Sport behind me with the Helen package. I'm here at Lexus Galleria here in Smyrna, Georgia. This car will be available for sale at 50 grand. If you're interested in the car, please speak to Brandon. Um, he's on the sales floor. Great guy. We'll get you the uh, great price. Uh, and also, Brandon really cares about his buyers. He's great to work with. So please reach out to Brandon if you're interested in buying this car. And let's get to the review. We're gonna start with this L Sport grill. And there is a big distinction between the regular L Sport grill and the regular uh, ES grill. And let's call this the spindle grill. You can see it's all blacked out. Then you got this nickel bronze finish. By these black finished wheels. Like you see L Sport right there. Two tone mirror. It's blacked out on top. Then you have the color, the Brega body color, this nickel color right here in the middle. Turn the lamp. And this color here is called Iridium. It's more like a bluish, uh, it's like a grayish green. Nice. Your uh, rid of, your blacked out rear diffuser. Got your exhaust tips. LED lamps in the back. Your uh, deck lid spoiler. And here you see it's a spec sheet. As tested today, it's 50 grand. You can see all the features here. Sunroof is option on this model. You have this two-tone black and white interior with the piano black on the inside. This nickel finish, memory seats. You have your Lexus, you have your L Sport leather wrap steering wheel. Pedal shifters. The digital gauge here in the center. And just like any L Sport, it does, you know, slide from side to side. You have a analog clock here. It's real nice. And what's new for 2023 is now that they're, they're wireless Apple CarPlay. So the, it's wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have your wireless charging here. Brake hold, power start. Here. This is your mode selector here. You have eco, normal, sport, sport plus. And then you have custom, where you can go into the settings and configure the different powertrain modes, the chassis mode, which is suspension, um, air conditioning. You turn off uh, traction control, push that in, 
you hold it and turn it completely off. And this car, and this model is optional with the sunroof. You have your different door, you have a different setting, so door control, have an auto lock, auto lock when you shift in the park, or when you get up to a certain speed, or you can turn it off completely. You have different driver customizations for entering the car. So if you want the car to slide the seat back or the steering column to tilt when you get in, you have the different settings. So it tilt, partial, or full, full slide, partial slide, or you can off. You have your uh, steering column where you can tilt, or you can tilt and um, tilt meaning uh, uh, come go up, tilt meaning go up and down, and then telescope mean coming in and out for easy access into the car. You can turn it off completely. I'll show you different drive modes, um, the different AC controls, and you have your different media. Like I said, this car have Apple wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for 2023. Bluetooth, different climate um, controls, the trip information, your vehicle alerts, the different settings. And also our different profiles. This car does offer a hotspot and Wi-Fi connectivity. And just your different settings for your um, your displays and the camera. And here you have your physical buttons for the, you know, for the AC and your radio, your media, the volume button. Feels nice, smooth. Down here you have your, your parking, the electronic parking brake. So this car is equipped with uh, heated and ventilated seats heated steering wheel and also on your passenger side same you have your storage here two USB-C ports and also a 12 volt uh, power outlet decent size that's it's pretty it's pretty deep you can fit a lot in here a couple phones chargers yeah, your lunch. <laughs> nice leather wrap seat. You have your L Sport sport seats. Nice bolstering. Yeah, L Sport embroidered on the headrest here. And then you have more USB connections here USB type C and USB and you have a place here to put your phone this little cubby here the automatic lights auto auto brights and the automatic lights and then you can turn the DRLs off which is first first time I ever seen that Turn the uh, daytime running lights off. Then you have your auto auto wipers. So when you get when, when the windshield is wet, it automatically comes on, and it's just the speed depending on how you know drenched it is. So here on this side of the steering wheel, the right side, you have your cruise control settings, setting the speed. You know your lane assist. 
Um, this does come with a uh, adaptive cruise control. So this is how you adjust the distance between the next car. Just different modes, change the different modes. So you go from radio, Bluetooth, Apple Car, you know, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Music, do different apps. That's how you change the that's how you change the song or the station. Over here on the left side, you have your controls for the dash. And your different phone settings and your volume buttons. different modes you have eco sport sport plus sport plus trans traction control off then you have this button to control the steering wheel the telescope out tilt for tilt up tilt down and you have your buttons here to control Odometer reset it to control of the brightness. And this is to open the fuel door and open the trunk. And here you open the hood. Under the hood, you have a 3.5 V6, losing 306 horsepower. Very nice. And it's matted to a, and it's matted to an eight-speed transmission. big trunk you have all your um, your documents your manuals first aid kit all your floor mats and they do say L sport sit there license plate holder all right, your carpet And this button here, of course, you have your emergency release, and then your button to that two tone color scheme still follows to the rear seats. Real nice. You have your cup holders here in the middle, finish some leather. You have your trunk access here. You can also lock with the key. Perforated seats. Nice. Adjustable headrest. You have your subwoofer in the back there. Twelve volt outlet. Two USB C ports. Your rear vents, document holder, reading lights, piano black finish. It's nice.
plenty of head room, plenty of leg room. So this seat was set to my setting, my driver setting. And I'm 6'2", so. Another person that's six foot or even, you know, a couple more inches taller than me will be able to will be comfortable back here for a long trip. It's nice back here. All right, go check out this 2023 ES350 F Sport. 306 horsepower. Turn this AC though. Starting to look. Man, this leather is real nice. It's soft. The piano black finish on some of the trims. Only thing I would think is probably the size of the steering wheel. It's a little too big for me. I feel like I'm driving a boat. <laughs> well than that. I like the feel of it, all the finishes. It doesn't feel cheap in here. Oh yeah, and I wish the sunroof go all the way back like the pan uh, panoramic. But other than that, I like this. For an everyday driver, I would definitely, I would definitely get this over the camera. You spend if you got extra uh, extra money. So we're gonna take it to uh, sport mode. Oh yeah, you can already tell the response. It's a new car. I got 10 miles. So I ain't gonna, ain't gonna go too tough. Hardly any blind spots. Pretty much see out every corner of it. Photoshop this feels nice. Nice satisfying click. Seats hug you real nice. It's not too aggressive where it get uncomfortable doing a long trip, but it's just enough where it can hug you in the corners. I'm gonna take it to Sport Plus.
what's up? <laughs> Alright guys, so this has been another review on this 2023 Lexus ES350 F Sport handling package. Please comment down below and tell me what you think of this review and also the car. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.